Many of our students have completed their PLE and UCE national exams, as well as completed their academic school year and taken part in rigorous exams. It's crucial to emphasize the significance of a balanced vacation. Prioritizing rest, relaxation, and fostering connections with family and friends is pivotal for their physical and emotional well being. This is your host, Rosa, from Teaching for Success. In today's episode, we'll be talking about how we can help you help your children or students make the most of their break. For our younger students who have just completed PLE, or for our students who are in kindergarten to P6, there are many things that they could do to spend their vacation time in a constructive manner. First of all, rest and family time is important. We need to encourage relaxation and quality family moments. Socializing responsibly with friends helps unwind emotionally, contributing positively to their overall health. This is a time also that parents can connect with their children and find out how they are doing emotionally, physically, and mentally, as well as spiritually. This is a time for parents to sit and talk and chat and do fun activities with their children. Fun activities does not necessarily mean activities that cost money. You can be creative and do lots of things with your children at home. You can play board games. uh, You can read a book together. You can take a walk together and look at nature and talk about different things in nature. Talk about their dreams and and their goals and the things that make them happy and smile and relaxed. Another thing that students can do at this age, uh, that's from kindergarten to P7, is productive activities like volunteering opportunities. They can tutor younger siblings, neighbors, or students in their neighborhood with their parents' permission, of course. They can also do household tasks and learn domestic skills to foster growth. I know that education is very, very important to our children, but we have to remember during the holidays that continuous studying without breaks isn't conducive to success. Because I know that there are some parents who are going to continue to drill their children to study night and day during the school vacation. But remember, adequate sleep, rest and relaxation is very important for students because it helps them process information and consolidate their memories. One of the things that can benefit students during their vacation time is reading and skill development. It's important that students read fiction and non-fiction books, newspapers for current events, and engage in activities beyond excessive screen time. Watching TV endlessly and playing video games is not helpful, parents, for your children. What happened to the days of children playing outside, kicking balls, playing football, playing netball, swimming, running around, creating their own games? Learning new skills like cooking, sports, musical instruments will enhance critical thinking and practical abilities for your young ones. The older kids who have just finished P7 can also gain valuable insights by helping out in their family businesses, if their family has one, acquiring basic accounting skills, customer service skills, while also learning the importance of budgeting and saving. 
Lastly, with regards to our PLE students and our students from kindergarten to P6, daily journaling is really, really important. Ask your child to write a small journal entry of a couple of sentences about what went right in their day, what didn't, what was significant about their day, what would they have liked to have happened during that day. There's so much information that they can put, but they don't have to write a whole essay. Every day, they can just write probably three, four, or five sentences about their day. This will help hone their writing skills and also capture memorable daily experiences. Now remember, writing practice can go really well along with drawing pictures or taking photographs and adding them to their writing journal to make it more fun and engaging. So what about our older students who are in high school, who have finished S4 or S6? Again, volunteering is key. Let's encourage our students to volunteer in their areas of interest. Volunteering is something that a lot of young people could benefit from, but many of them never, never consider it. Volunteering provides invaluable opportunities for skill development, networking, and personal growth. Emphasize the benefits with our young people of making connections and helping them to understand that volunteering will help build their self-confidence and help them gain a sense of purpose. It will also foster social interactions and new skill acquisition. Another thing that our older kids could do, especially our S6 students who have finished their exams, is to seek employment. Employment offers lessons in financial responsibility, work ethic, and provides diverse job experiences. Please, please, please encourage our young people to explore various job environments beyond traditional office settings. There is so much you can learn by working in a restaurant. There's so much you can learn by working in a store selling shoes. You don't only learn from working in an office setting. Let's ensure that our students utilize their vacation time as a time for holistic growth, skill development, personal enrichment, and connections with family, as well as time to rest and to relax. Again, this is Rosa, your host from Teaching for Success. Tune in to our next podcast and learn more about how you can support your child in their everyday living, whether they're on vacation or in school. We have a lot of strategies to share with you.